All right. Good evening, everyone. Um, thank you so much for tuning in or joining us. Uh, we are going to be talking all about smart plans this afternoon or this evening for our dual class. So as you all hopefully are aware, we are committed to offering more for our dual career agents. So we are going to be teaching classes every Monday evening at six o'clock on a variety of topics, whether it's technology related, all about documents, how to run an open house, financials, anything that you guys want to learn about, we want to teach. So definitely feel free to come to us with any ideas that you have, and we'll try to get it on the calendar. Um, but for today, we are going to be talking about SMART plans. Um, if you're relatively new to the world of Keller Williams, SMART plans may not make a whole lot of sense just yet, but I promise you that they will. Essentially, a SMART plan is just a, a combination of different sorts of messaging. Um, it's comprised of emails, text messages, prompts for you to get on the phone and call someone, send a handwritten note, different things like that. And they are all um, outlined in a particular order and they're set up in a certain way where you can send this messaging over an extended period of time. And the beauty of these smart plans is that they're set up and you can almost give this a set it and forget it type of mentality where we can have these smart plans set up and created for a variety of different topics and have them ready in our arsenal, ready in our command database, ready to use at a moment's notice. So let me go ahead and share my screen. If I can find it. <laughs> there we go. Oops. Peter's being all sort of wacky. Oh, he did. Oh, I'm not in my command. That would help, wouldn't it? So let me just log in here. So if anyone is brand new to the world of commands, uh, there is are two websites you can go to. Um, the more preferable one is agent.kw.com. I use the console.command.kw.com, um, but either way, it's going to get you in the same way. And then your Username and password will go in here. Um, it is the same username and password for the command website, the connect website, as well as the key, uh, KW internet. So you can always find that in your Scott Leroy um, Keller Cloud set of complete email for that login information. So once you are logged on into our CRM system extraordinaire, what we are going to do is head on over. Let's just make sure I've got this up. What we are going to do is head on over to our smart plan section. So that's going to be our fourth icon down. This is our fourth applet in this row of applets. And it's smart plans. It has the little cog wheel. Looks like it's on a piece of notebook paper. Now, once this loads, we are going to see that there's really two different views that we can take a look at. One is going to be my smart plans and the other is going to be the library. So the difference between these two, my smart plans are going to be any plan that has been downloaded into your particular database, your command system. Whereas the library is where you can view any smart plans that have been created and published um, and are now available for you to download into your own system. So when we talk about these smart plans that have already been created, when we come on over into our library, we're able to see that they're laid out very, very nicely. On this top row here, they have nine featured plans, uh, and these featured plans have been created and published by other Keller Williams um, agents from across the country. As time goes on and, and your journey with Keller Williams goes on, you may start to recognize some of these names. For example, Marty Miller, um, he is the originator of the Command Challenge, uh, Command 66 Day Challenge video series on YouTube. He is one of the top agents out there. He really knows his stuff. He's very techie. Um, so I know anytime I see a plan written by him, it's going to be something that's great. So over time, you may start to see um, authors that you recognize and other agents from across the country that maybe you look up to and you know that they have some good information that you can download and add to your library. So all of these nine featured plans here are going to be created by other Keller Williams agents. This second row here is going to be a collection of plans that are created by Keller Williams headquarters. So these 10 plans were created by Keller Williams um, and that's how you know that they are 
foolproof. They are the best of the best. And some of them you can't really edit too much. Um, they're designed to be in a specific way, the neighborhood nurtures, and I will get to that in just a little bit. And I'll show you what those are all about. You're then going to see top rated and what's new. Um, so you are going to notice first and foremost, hopefully, that there are over 1,500 smart plans that are available for you to download. That is a heck of a lot of smart plans. Um, now, even though there is such a big number, we can really dissect these smart plans and figure out which ones may be the best for our particular situations. And that's going to be incorporating a few different things. So while we're looking at the, the overview of the smart plan, I just want to point out how we can figure out exactly what the plan entails, the messaging, etc. So regardless of what plan you're looking for, you're going to see the title or the headline of the plan right at the top in bold. And again, these plans can include and, um, and capture a, a endless amount of topics, whether you have a post-closing follow-up, um, a post-open house follow-up, a um, this, this is the only problem with the evening classes as my brain doesn't think as fast as it does, but it's essentially almost any topic that you can think of that you would want to relate information to your client, you'll be able to find that topic in here. And I will show you how you can search for different plans as well. Uh, but again, just reviewing how we can see what this plan is about, you'll see the title of the plan right up top in bold. And then you're able to see a summary. Um, you'll notice if I hover over the summary, I'm able to full see that full message. This particular one is to um, help you stay in touch with your database. Uh, this is, um, let's see, ideally, it's going to be a mix of phone calls, handwritten notes, text messages, and social media touches. And they want you to add five people a day to this plan. So not only are these plans helping you with this set it and forget it mentality of getting your message out to other people, but this is also a great way where you can nurture leads and the more contacts and the more information that you capture from other people, you can add them to these plans and then they're gonna start receiving this messaging from you. It's a great way of nurturing, especially if you're providing information that isn't necessarily so salesy. So maybe you have, um, you know, down the road, you'll want to develop a plan of activities in your town, uh, different things like that. But again, we can touch on that in a little bit. So this 555 plan, for example, it helps you stay in touch with your database over multiple touches a year. I'm able to see when this was published. I am able to see how many downloads this has. So this plan has almost 9,500 downloads and the overall rating. So this is four and a half stars with 68 user ratings. I'd say that this is a great plan to, to try. I always like to see how many downloads there are and the average rating before I download something. But as we all know, ratings aren't necessarily the end all be all. Um, so how can we really see if a plan is right for us? Simple, we are able to view all of the steps by clicking the view steps button. This will open up a pop out that will show us how many days, how many steps and how many touches there are. You'll notice a vast difference between these numbers. This plan, for example, this plan is a total of 90 days. It's a total of eight steps, and it's also a total of four touches. Why is it eight steps and only four touches? Anytime you set a delay between the tasks, that counts as a step. So that also will be a reason why the number of days can be so large when the number of steps and touches can be so small. This plan is a phone call. If I hover over, it gives us that little bit of a beginning message. Waits 30 days. Then it's gonna prompt us with a touch task. Then it waits 30 days. Then again, it's gonna prompt us with a task. It waits, prompts us with a task, and then it repeats over and over again. Let's take a look at this long-term nurture plan. This is 31 days, eight steps, and three touches. So the very first step is actually adding this contact onto another smart plan, which is the monthly neighborhood nurture plan, if they are not already at it. Sets a 10 day delay, prompt for a phone call, delay, la da da, et cetera, et cetera. So we are able to see all of these steps and all of these touches and exactly what this messaging entails without even downloading it into our libraries. Now you will notice sometimes that the information isn't necessarily complete or you'll notice that there's a ton of different examples. 
Anytime you're viewing the information for the steps, know that regardless of the plan, when you add it into your personal library, you always want to read through it and make sure everything is correct. Um, because these plans are available for anyone to download, they may very well include dummy text or prompts for you to input your information. So for example, on a text message um, uh, task, it can say, you know, if you haven't already, download my app link here. And then it may say in, you know, big cap letters, add your app link. You want to make sure you're taking a look at that and, and adding in your link and making sure you're not sending out that dummy text onto your clients when you're actually sending that messaging. So definitely without fail, you always want to make sure that you are um, reading everything through before you send this to a client. So now let's take a look and see how can we find some other plans that we may have um, an idea that we want to look. Anyone out there in, in Zoom land, if you've got um, a, a plan that you want me to search for, please feel free to put it in the chat. You can say it out loud, anything at all that we want to convey some messaging to or convey messaging about. All right, we're a little quiet in the chat. That's okay. We're all probably a little tired like I am. It's Monday. Um, so I'm going to search for an open house follow-up. So right on this upper left corner, I'm able to see a search bar um, as well as some extra criteria. So right now I've simply just typed in the word open and right away I'm able to see a variety of open house follow-up plans. Open house follow-up plan. This one's from Keller Williams, so I know that this is good. My open house follow-up plan, open house follow-up, buyer post open house follow-up. Um, they can be very, very specific. So some of these you may not need. But you see how many plans there are because anytime an agent creates their own smart plan, they can save it and publish it for other agents to use. So let's take a look at this Keller Williams one, for example. I'm going to view the steps. So this is going to send a text, waits a day, touch task, waits a day, a call, et cetera, et cetera. So kind of goes on and, and um, has a lot of messaging. So now we're at the point where I found a plan that I like, and now I want to take this plan and customize it and make it my own. What I'm then going to do is click on the Add a Smart Plan button. It will then prompt me to download any additional plans that the original plan contains. So they're calling it a bundle. So the reason for this is that during this open house follow-up plan, there are going to be two opportunities for that client to be added to a monthly neighborhood nurture as well as a long-term nurture. I already have the monthly neighborhood nurture downloaded, so I will now download the long-term nurture, which I have already downloaded. So what I'm going to do, because this is giving me a little bit of a heck up, I'm going to come over into my smart plans. And I'm simply going to get rid of that smart plan that was giving me a hiccup. Here's that long-term nurture. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to delete it. Now, as you know, you may deal with some hiccups. Here's another long-term nurture. I'm just going to delete that one. Oh, it's active. That was why. Ah, ha, ha. Unsubscribe him. You guys are getting a little real uh, behind the scenes of how you can add or remove people to plans here. So let me see where did that one go, if it's still here. All right, there we go. Long-term nurture. All right, so let's go back into the library here. I'm going to go back and search for open. Now, before I download this plan, I also did want to show you guys, you can search by smart plan name, author name, or description. So again, as mentioning earlier, if you find an agent that you really love, who is well known within the, within the Keller Williams world, search by author, type in their name, and see what you can find. Additionally, you can filter down your results. So if you want to see 
how long the plan lasts, um, any specific number of touches, ratings, different things like that, you can filter the results as well. Hold on one second, I apologize. Okay, okay. So I found my plan, I'm gonna click add smart plan. I'm gonna download this plan. It was now able to let me add that on because I got rid of the existing plan in my library. And now I'm gonna click on download. So success, the My Open House follow-up was added to my smart plan library. So I'm gonna come right over here. And now we see that this is the first smart plan on my list because I do have it sorted by date, quote unquote, created, AKA the date added to my personal library. And then we see that I can add contacts to it. I can you know, choose to copy it or delete it, but this pencil button here will allow me to edit the plan. And once again, you always wanna make sure you're coming in and editing it or at least reviewing it before you start adding people to the plan. Regardless of the plan, you always want to do this. So I'm just gonna take a quick browse through this one here. So, hey, contact first name, thanks for coming by. What did you think of the open house? Waits a day, here's a tax for you to send an email. Waits two days, prompt for you to make a phone call. Three days, another text message. Four days, a phone call. Looks good, looks good, looks good. All right, so everything here does look pretty good in terms of the content. Now, one thing that we do notice, um, a red flag, if you will, uh, right in red, I'm getting sort of an error message that my Twilio account is not connected. So one thing to note about smart plans, they are completely free to use. Every plan in that library, those almost 2000 plans, completely free for you to download, add to your library and make your own. Now, the only thing that you will have to pay for is the Twilio text messaging service if you choose. Now, when you're in the command dashboard, you can click on any of these links here. You can also click on this marketplace link and it will take you into the same place. So we can click to learn about Twilio, which is going to take us into answers.kw.com. So in case anyone was not aware that this website exists, this is a wonderful website where you can search for answers to very basic and also a little more complicated questions. And if we actually go into the marketplace, we can read a little bit more about Twilio. So again, it is a text messaging service, but it is as a relatively inexpensive cost. If we see right here, the available plans, the smallest plan is the extra small. That's up to 300 credits a month and it's $3.16 per month. Now, any unused credits will roll over into the next month and you have up to 12 months to use them. Um, I believe if you go over the credit limit, it may just prompt you to upgrade to the next package. But this is, I mean, 300 text messages because an SMS short message service is only one credit. Um, and most of the time through um, smart plans, you will be using just the one credit SMS message. So what you would do is come into the marketplace. By now, you have to put in your credit card information. Then you set up a number within command and you are ready to receive um, and send those text messages. So if you come down here, you're able to view more of the product images, additional information, features and benefits. You can choose your number, um, how call forwarding is put up and different things like that. So any questions that you have regarding Twilio, you can always come in here. You can always go to answers.kw.com or of course you can ask me. So if you, do, if you do decide to purchase Twilio, once you get that all set up, all these red error messages will be A-OK -okay for you. Now on the flip side, if you just don't want to put the money towards this right now or not yet, no, no shame, no fault in that. I hear you. Times are tough. Um, so what we can do is we can replace this with another task. So here, for example, we see a task to send an email. Now within the smart plan action option, there is an email option that will automatically send a text for us. 
this is prompting us to create that message on our own and send it outside of the sweet sequence of smart plan messaging. Why? I'm not entirely sure. It's an excellent question. I don't have an answer. Um, but you can use the same idea when you're talking about a text message. So if we did not want to use the Twilio service, I can simply delete this action and replace it with a task. What I can do is I can copy this exact messaging and I can add in, create a task. It's going to come all the way at the bottom. Send a text message is my task name. Send a text saying this. And I'm going to save it. I'm not going to go through the process, but I would ideally keep pressing this up arrow until it gets all the way up to the top. And then I would delete the Twilio, uh, or I should say the send SMS action step. This is simply erasing that automated step and allowing us to send that text message on our own volition, which also means we're not using that extra service. So we're saving a couple dollars. Is it a little extra work on the agent's part? Yes. Does it save time? Not necessarily. If you're very techy, is it going to be a bother? No. If you don't really you know, mind doing this, is it going to be a bother? No, it's completely up to you. That's the beauty of having multiple options, both within smart plans and really in command in general. This system is ours to do what we want and to use it how it's going to serve us best. So you don't always have to do the same thing every time. You can switch it up. You can tweak things and, and make your own rules in a way um, to make the system work best for you. I'm going to delete this step since it was just an example. Click on remove. But that is an idea of how you can, you know, edit and create those steps of yours as well. You will also see the ability to add um, the client onto a, another smart plan. So that's always something that you can add in as well. Once I click on save and save the plan and all the changes have been saved, I can then add people to it, whether I want to add them directly from here. I can view all of my contacts and click on everyone that I want to add and add the plan, or I can do that from my contact point of view. Lots of different ways I can get that done. Um, before I show you how we can create our own plan, I also want to touch upon this really, really cool feature called a trigger event. Now, this is something where we can incorporate tags and the system will allow us to automatically add contacts to a smart plan simply by attaching a tag. So for example, let me go into my, my settings here. Ah, let me go. Oops, I did the wrong button. There we go. So let's say I'm hosting an open house this coming weekend. I know I'm hosting an open house. I'm going to create a tag for this open house. I'm going to come into my settings. I'm going to go to command settings. And then under contacts, we are able to see contact tags. Now, just a note, this is for anyone who wants to edit their tags, create them, delete them. You can always come here, do a little bit of audit, and create them as you'd like. So I'm going to create a tag. And this is going to be 44. Main Street, Open House, 8622. Purple, why not? I like purple. I'm going to create this tag. So I'm hosting an open house this Saturday at 44 Main Street. I've created my tag already. I'm going to come back here. Let me just give this a quick refresh. And what I'm going to do is add my trigger event which means I am adding a tag to the plan. That's step one. I can select up to 10 tags, but I'm going to search for this one, 44 Main Street Open House, and I'm going to choose my trigger tag. What I am doing is setting myself up for success. I have my smart plan ready to go. It has the proper tag. So now when the weekend comes, every person that visits my open house, as I add them in command, as I group them all together, as soon as I give them this tag, they will automatically be added onto my smart plan. 
So if I do confirm trigger right now and hit save, anyone who I now assign this tag to will automatically be put on this plan. So this makes it even easier for us. We spend, you know, one day during the week or even, re, you know, we've been using this plan for every open house we host. We just keep remaking it and swapping out the property address. So there's very little work on our end. I create my tag. I get it ready to go. Now it's the day after the open house. Everyone who attended, I give them this tag. Boom. They are automatically put on this plan. Simple as that. That is the beauty of this contact tag trigger. Now, please note, if you have, if you tag a contact before doing this trigger step, it will not work. That's what that little message said before. You have to add the tag to the contact after it is added to the smart plan or else it won't work. So this is something that you guys can do to, again, just make life that much easier for mm -hmm. yourself. You know you have a closing coming up. You know that you have an inspection. You know that you have a buyer consultation. I, you guys know how to run your business way better than I do. But when you have, absolutely have, I'll do that again. But when you do have time, you know, um, set up these smart plans or play around with them. That way, when the time comes, you'll be ready to go. So we want to add a, con a, a tag um, to our contacts. So again, right here, we can do up to 10 tags. So if we take a look at this plan, this is very neutral. What did you think of the open house? Nice to meet you at the open house. Well, that was a task, but here's a call. Here's a text. I have a few open houses. So looking through all of this, there's really nothing that mentions the particular home that we showed, which means we can use this plan for a lot of open houses that we are hosting. So let's say, you know, we have a lot of tags already created. I can come in here and I can create a tag for 52 Main Street for next week, for 77 Main Street for three weeks from now. And I can add up to 10 tags to a plan. I just come here and select the tags. So let's say hypothetically it's this one and maybe that one too. Oh, that was one at a time. But you see how I just added that tag again? I'll do it once more. So if you click on Add New, it's going to allow you to select the tags. So once you open up that drop down menu, any tag you've already created will show up here. You can then click on that tag and it will show up in the box. Click Choose Trigger. And here's that message that says any contacts that already have the tag will not be added to the smart plan. If you would like to add them, you have to manually add them to the plan if they already have the tag. But now, once I hit save, anytime I add any of these tags to a contact, they'll automatically be put on this plan. Pretty cool. Um, another thing that I want to show you guys is how we can really think of a cool way to utilize this add to smart plan function. Um, and I like to incorporate this with our neighborhood uh, nurture, whether it's biweekly, whether it's monthly. Everyone should be familiar with the neighborhood nurture. What this is, actually, let me get my email up and I can show you what this looks like. Bear with me one second, ladies and gents especially while my computer is slow as can be today. Alrighty. So here is what a neighborhood nurture email looks like. The email comes to the client. It is branded with your information. So I am my own agent. So that's why um, it has my information. But it's going to show you some different neighborhood trends. And the client can then click on this link to explore their neighborhood, which essentially just brings them to their very own branded app, app or branded link in a way because they have the ability to jump through all of these different neighborhoods that they are associated with 
to search for different property. Now, how do we add people to the neighborhoods? Excellent question. This is pretty easy to do so. This is actually done through a contact card. So once that, um, once your contact has been added as a client, you can click on their name. And then you're going to see a map on the left hand side. It's going to say neighborhoods. Now, if you do plug in a home address, it will automatically designate a primary neighborhood, which is simply just the area in which that person currently lives. But what you can do as the agent is add them to multiple neighborhoods by viewing the map and plugging in different addresses where someone has shown interest in living and select the different areas. That way they are able to receive updates on how the market is doing in their desired areas. Um, this is based off of next door's use of neighborhood. Um, so this is a, a company that created neighborhoods as a way for people who live in close proximity to one another to have closer relationships, um, to really have that sense of neighborhood and that sense of community. I think it works a little bit better in other states, not necessarily New Jersey or those up in the Northeast, because I mean, especially here, we don't think in terms of neighborhoods, we're talking in terms of towns. It's no, no, I want to live in Clifton. I want to live in Lyndhurst. I want to live in Rutherford. It's not the, oh, I want to live on the East Hill of Rutherford. But we can use this to our advantage since we do um, utilize locations. So if someone says, you know, I don't really know where I'm thinking about moving. I just know I want to live close to a high school or I know I want to live close to a train station or any of those different locations. You can use those as a means of finding that address. I'm going to type in something else. Let's actually try 44 and see what pops up. Little false. Why not? So let's say hypothetically, 44 Main Street is a, is a high school in, in the Little Falls area. As I zoom in, you're going to see all of these green shapes. These are all the different neighborhoods. Now, this is my location. As we can see, this isn't actually in a neighborhood, but I can select the surrounding neighborhoods because these may be areas in which my client could potentially be interested in moving. I can do this in as many areas as we want. I can jump around, I can put down locations, I can come around and I can you know, check off as many neighborhoods as they want in as many states as they want, it doesn't matter. As Soon as I click save, those additional neighborhoods will be added. You are gonna see here on the right that my client has been added to these specific neighborhoods. And now you can actually view what their unique link looks like by clicking this preview button. So this is again, another neighborhood snapshot. Amanda, my yes. secret is turning. Nothing is coming for the showing. I didn't see anything. I don't know why. Which page are you on? I'm sorry. No, I didn't see anything when you say the neighbors, you know. I didn't see uh, around the five minutes. My screen showing the Amanda has starting screen sharing, like the loading, but I didn't see anything. Is anyone same or only my problem? How is this? How is the screen for anyone else? Is anyone having other anyone of oh, can't speak? Was anyone having issues seeing my screen? No issues. No issues. No, no. no. I think it's my no. I'm a go out and in because I didn't see anything when you share. OK, well, I'll, I will definitely send out the recording of this to everyone. So that way you can you can tune in again and you'll be okay. able to see it all because it looks good on my screen. So you can uh, catch it again. All right, awesome. So um, let me just take a little while to load. So now what I've done is I've created this neighborhood snapshot for my client, Aaron Judge. Yes, we all know I love the celebrities. Um, so 
I've created this neighborhood nurture where he can view all of the air, the homes in Little Falls, and then he can jump and view homes in Elmwood Park, and then he can jump and view homes in East Rutherford, and then you jump and you view homes in Carlstadt. So that's the beauty of this neighborhood nurture is that you can attach a lot of different areas all in one spot. You then can add the person to the smart plan so long as they have at least one neighborhood attached. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. You know, if you're just simply going person by person, you can add them to the smart plan, click on add to plan, and then you can type in neighborhood. So I have monthly or the bi-weekly. You just select whichever one you want and then you can start it then or on a certain day. Now, you can also get a little extra creative with this. So let me show you an idea of something that I've done. And this is just one idea. If I can find it. So I created a plan with an intro to the bi-weekly neighborhood nurture. So this plan is just one extra step. All I'm doing is sending the client an email. I did this a while ago, so I'm not sure how this looks. Here's an email template. As you know, I'm proud to be a licensed real estate agent and blah, blah, blah. If you're looking for um, homes, I'm here to help. I'm happy to provide uh, up-to-date listings in any desired areas. I've set you up to receive bi-weekly updates for yourself to, to share with others. Just a little bit of information about you, a nice email. It will have your picture. It will have the link to download your app, all of your information, et cetera. Then from there, the next step is adding the person to the smart plan. So all you have to do is create this one email template and then automatically add them to the neighborhood nurture plan, whether it's bi-weekly, monthly, whatever you prefer. But this is just a, a little bit of a unique extra step to make them feel a little extra special by getting that personalized email from you. So just one idea. Here was another idea that I had that I don't think I ever fully came to fruition with, but maybe this will you know, prompt you guys to um, be really, really creative. And let me find which plan it was. Oh no. Well, essentially, the plan was just um, information about the, you know, the market being really hot, and it would just include a snapshot, a neighborhood snapshot of that area. So you can have that email going monthly. You know, maybe you can set it up um, and and tweak it for every month of the year. So January, February, it looks snowy. Summertimes, it looks nice. But it's just going to be a neighborhood snapshot of you know the market. Um, and maybe when someone clicks through, they can be brought to a live page so they show the correct stats. Just an idea. Oh, here it is, Biweekly Outreach Rutherford. I knew I had it in here. So again, it's a Rutherford email, and every 14 days it repeats the same thing. This is where I got stuck making sure we had the right email. Because if we preview this, this I made in Canva. Will your next move to be to Rutherford? So if you had clients who definitely said they wanted Rutherford, they want Clifton, they want East Rutherford, they want Secaucus, you can just create the same graphic and designs. And then, you know, here you go. So this is good for September or October. Summer may be over, but the market isn't slowing down. I'm happy to help you find a home. la di da October, this is all treat and no trick. November, I'm thankful for you. December, get ready to ring in the new year and a new home. Boom, all those ideas. I hope someone was writing them down. Um, but these can just be examples of how you can create content that's sort of evergreen. Um, and you can automatically set everyone to receive these emails and they will then get one a month. So you can set you know, a 30 delay um, waiting period in between each email. One more thing I just wanna show you guys before I take some questions is going to be two plans that any agent can download and use right away, especially if you're brand new or relatively new. When you're in the library, search for, no, not welcome, I'm sorry. 
um, new to new to Keller Williams with a new license or new to Keller Williams as an experienced agent. Both of these are created by George Kelly, another name that I've just learned to or grown to learn over this period of time. But these are just simple emails letting everyone know in your database, I'm a new agent or I'm, I've joined Keller Williams depending on what situation you're in. But the plan will send out an, a simple email that you're excited to share the news and then a text message, a phone call, and then it adds your contact to a quarterly call plan, which essentially just gives you a prompt once a quarter to call that person and provide that outreach. So really, really cool things. Um, additionally, oh my gosh, look, I'm, I have so much I wanna tell you guys, I can't keep it all straight. This should finally be my finally, finally one. Two other plans that Keller Williams created are a birthday plan, as well as a home anniversary plan. Now you'll notice when you are filling in contacts, uh, personal contact information, it does ask you for their birthday and their home anniversary. If you have these pieces of information, you can then put them on the home anniversary or the birthday plan. These plans are designed to help you be the first person to make that outreach and wish, you know, give your good wishings to that client. Is this very important? Yes. Is this part of your 36 touches a year? Yes. Is it organic and not salesy? Yes. And that's the beauty of this because we don't always want our outreach to be, hi, are you ready to buy? Hi, are you ready to sell? You want it to be worthwhile information, you know, informative information, fun information, but this will also help your clients feel really, really special. If anyone was on our uh, July team rally, we had Orly Steinberg. She talked about keeping a list of every closing that she's been a part of, as well as both parties on either side of the transaction. So if she was working with the sellers, she also has the buyer's information. And every year on the anniversary of that deal closing, she will send a home anniversary card to both the buyer and the seller. She said, you know, years from now, neither of those people probably remember which agent they used when they bought their house, unless they're a really good friend. So by orally sending those postcards to people who weren't even her clients, they're st she's still staying at the top of their mind in a very non-salesy way. She's simply wishing them happy anniversary in your home. So think about how powerful this can be when you wanna wish people a happy home anniversary or a happy birthday. Even this birthday plan, if we view the steps, a touch task, send a handwritten note. They have this set up in a way where this plan will kick in before the contact's birthday. That way that note gets to them before their birthday. That way that phone call comes on their birthday. So it's just a great way to keep yourself, you know, front and center in front of everyone's minds. I highly encourage everyone to take a look in the Smart Plan section, browse the library, search for some topics. Above all else, add the plans into your personal library and then play around with them. If you make so many changes and you just wish you could revert it and go back to the beginning, all you need to do is come in here, delete the plan and re-download it. There's very little you can do to break the system. I say this all the time, and especially smart plans, play around with them, fix them up and test them on yourselves because um, no one's going to see anything until you know you add them to the plan. So it's a great way to make sure things are foolproof and look really good before they're publicized. Does anyone have any questions at all? I know I went through a lot. There's a lot to learn with smart plans. Um, I'm always happy to meet with anyone one-on-one -on -one or answer additional questions later on. But for now, does anyone have any final thoughts, questions? Amanda, I have a question. What is the showing the eye icon? Which icon? You know, the uh, one of the eye icon and right to, next to the number yes that one this right here so this if i click on that this is going to show me what or how many contacts and who of my contacts are already on this plan so that's an excellent question and i'm, I'm glad that you asked that 
this will show you who you have already added onto this plan. So you can click on the little eyeball and then it will show you who has been added to the plan. This is also where you can unsubscribe someone from a plan. So if for whatever reason, you know, you sell someone their home and then you take them off the neighborhood nurture plan, that's how you would unsubscribe. Them. So excellent question on what that, that icon meant. Anyone else? No? All right, well, everyone, you have my uh, my phone number, my email, so I am always, always happy to answer questions whenever you guys need. You're very welcome. I hope that you all found this beneficial. I hope that you start to implement some smart plans, um, get your clients on them, just anything that will help you stay on top of their mind, it's definitely gonna help. And um, just knowing that it's almost that set it and forget it will definitely make it a lot easier uh, to keep this going as well. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you so You're much. Awesome. You're very welcome, everyone. Thank you, Amanda. You got it. Thank you, guys. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. Have a great week ahead. Good luck, and I'll see you all soon. Thank you. Bye.